Hello and welcome to the IP tables class uh, developed from uh, Unix services. So please do visit us on unixservices.co.n. So our primary concept today is IP tables. Let's discuss what is IP tables and understand what is IP tables. The very primary thing which we require to understand is well, how exactly the IP tables <coughs> or for what purpose is the IP tables designed. To understand that concept we need to go ahead and make sure <coughs> we get the right information. Example is we have a machine here right now we have a CentOS 6 machine and we use different networking tools or else we use different protocols to connect from one computer to other computer to access and share information to access and share information computers are connected and they communicate to each other so what is the purpose when the communication is done the data is being shared across the network so when we have a larger network so the example is our internet the data is being shared across multiple computers or millions and millions of computers which is there on different countries the same time different places of the world so the data which is being transferred through the communication medium we call it as the protocols so we use protocols like TCP and that protocol will transfer the data with the help of a port so when we type netstat dash ntlp we can list the ports the TCP ports which are running on our machine so if you see we have port number 53 we have port number 22 which is listening to SSH the communication which it happens and the data has been transferred through these ports the point here why I'm talking about ports and TCP protocol is the communication always happens through this TCP and ports you have six, 65,536 ports in this we have 1 2024 is the well-known ports <coughs> so the communication happens through through these ports but many a times the problem is also being created when the communication has happened so there are many other people the unwanted people who enter into the network and access the information and try to utilize it for a wrong purpose to stop this they came and concept called as firewall so firewall is something which stops communicating with different machines or unwanted people trying to communicate to your machine or a server or the network so to stop this they came out with a concept called as firewall and what does this firewall should do the firewall should block these ports the ports which we has been mentioned here through which the communication is happening and block the unwanted IP address through which the TCP protocol the IP, TCP and IP protocol which is routing the data or transferring the data so what is the usage of a firewall a firewall will go ahead and block the unwanted ports and restrict the usage as well as 
unwanted IP address so that's why they developed a firewall so IP tables is nothing but a firewall which is developed on Linux so how does this work so let's have a look at it so here we have IP tables so IP tables is a firewall which is used to block IP addresses through IP addresses and ports and also restrict the usage of communication and data transfer so it's a firewall which is used to block IP address and ports and also restrict the usage of communication and data transfer is what IP tables so so we have to utilize this IP tables that's what is the concept <clears throat> so before we go ahead we have some points which we have made a note of so the points here is the application name inside the kernel there is one small application inside the kernel and that is known as net filter which controls the network the data usage the communication and at the user level at the user level which requires an interaction and this net filter which requires an interaction from the user level it uses a program and they have named that particular program as IP tables so what is there inside the kernel it is net filter which is maintaining all this communication through ports IP addresses and different things which is there so net filter is a program which is there in the kernel which is doing our job so in the previous versions of our kernel it was called as IP chains and post 2.4 series it is called as IP tables so now we have 2.6 kernel so you can just have a look at that also so you can just say uname dash a it provides what kernel we are using so we are using 2.66 is the kernel which we are using so anything post 2.4 it's called as IP tables before 2.4 and 2.2 it's called as IP chains previous to this series it's called as IP firewall and IP chains so now we are calling it as IP tables so that good so that's good so IP tables works on network layer most commonly uses TCP and UDP protocol so TCP and UDP protocol are the protocols which it uses to control the network traffic the network traffic is nothing but the communication which is happening from source to destination and destination to source that's what we have to learn the very important thing is so how does this network IP table work so IP tables that is a net fi net filter inside the kernel is a firewall which is there and it has three important tables three important tables are it has tables the three important segments I can call it as segments I'm sorry not the tables so it has tables chains rules so we have tables we have chains and we have rules in tables we have filter table we have NAT table network address translation we have mangle table 
so filter table which filters the data NAT which routes mangle which stamps the data packets using three different tables we can see how the data has been filtered and how the data has been stamped from where exactly it is coming from and how the data can be also natted that is address translation network address translation so using these tables we also have something called as chains so the first part is we use tables the second part is we use chains so where it should come from the input output forward pre-routing and post routing don't get confused these are some of the terminologies which we have to use and you will understand all these concepts when we go ahead and do the practicals on the next coming videos then we have rules where it can accept the data reject drop dnat is destination nat snat is source nat redirect masquerade so masquerade is a concept where the data is routed from network card to network card suppose if you have two network cards the data can be routed from one network card to other network card and then it can be routed to the external network so these are the important things which is there on the IP tables that's good so now let's go ahead and check on our machines which we were utilizing by using which IP tables if you see which IP tables it is executed from SBIN so SBIN is system binary so it can only be applied with a root user privileges that's good and let's see also how do we find out if we have any rules which is there on IP tables so I just type IP tables dash uppercase L to know if there is any rules which has been written so here you can see IP tables is already running and you have the input and the policy is to accept all the incoming traffic data okay how does it accept so it's the target is accept through UDP protocol the data may be coming from anywhere and the destination may be anywhere so if it is a UDP protocol okay so we are accepting all the data so this is what we see the kind of rules which is there okay so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and right now stop this video and continue in the next session